So one of the biggest things about EWB is that whatever project we build, we would teach the locals how to do it. We set up like a community to oversee that project and ensure that eventually the community will be responsible for it. By that way, uh, we can ensure that whatever progress that we've made is not lost in the years afterwards. We try to make the project as simple as possible and we try to make them as durable as possible. We're going with Kenneth here, he's a local from Lelugia, and we are going to try to fix a, uh, a couple hand pumps that are broken. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can help out. For the local community to buy and install a new solar electric water pump, that would be very out of their budget. WB presented the Biosand water filter design. Um, I thought that was a great idea to clean up water. Simple, cheap, effective. What does the uh, slow sand water filter do exactly? It basically has a series of large rocks on the bottom, small rocks in the middle, sand at the top. You pour water in it continuously, it forms a bio layer on top, just like grass on top of the earth. Doing the water filter, they caught on quick. Um, probably the most resourceful people I've ever met in my life. They picked it up instantaneously and they were all on board. Seeing the water come out of the filter, go in dirty, and as it went on, come out clean, the looks on their faces was probably the best moment of my life. Now EWB BU is part of that. We've basically been engaged with the Nalucha community in Zambia to uh, assist them in their operations. Uh, our Yaki project was intended originally to help them get test results from larger hospitals for their blood tests and so that they can treat their community members more rapidly and basically decrease the infant mortality rate in the community. One of our contacts in Zambia told us that actually giving newspapers to members of the village is considered a gift because they normally don't have access to these. So once we implement our Yagi antenna, uh, people will be able to contact the outside world, but more importantly, the Nelugia Clinic will be able to contact the outside world, and that was always our main goal. We had gone to Nelugia, or to Zambia, with a design and a plan to uh, test out a prototype Yagi antenna. We had all the calculations which were done by uh, members of EWBBU, and we were able to construct one to take with us and assemble over there, actually, and test out. Based on our work there, we were able to figure out that the Yagi design does work, but our design still needed more refinement, it still needed more gain and a better way of working for the clinic that we were designing it for. We already know what's in the water before it goes through the filter, now we will know how the filter is treating the water and if it works or not. So next August 2014 when we come back, we will know if implementation is ready and how we get the ball rolling. They are really thankful for us for the help that, that we've given them, but at the same time, I wish there was one that we could do to help them. So if you're interested in helping with our projects or helping us with our fundraising efforts, uh, feel free to visit our website at people.bu.edu slash